Hello beautifuls, this is Aroma here and welcome back to Saga Academy. We are here with everything. <laughs> I'm like breathing hard now because I had to quickly take our dogs out to go to potty for the last time since it's starting to rain again. Which is terrible because I hate it when it's raining because I have to take my dogs out quickly. And they tend to not even want to go because it's really wet. And it kind of sucks because... If they don't be outside, we gotta clean it up inside because they'll spill all over in the house, which is not cool. Anyway, we are back. This thing. Oh, wait. She was talking all smart and stuff. When I opened my eyes, there, were, there was a less than entertained expression on Shane's face. For some reason, the edges of his lips started to visibly tremble. <laughs> it's kind of sad because in this route, we are trying our hardest to please this guy. Like, this is, I feel like this is the first time where we have to, like, physically try to, uh, try to entertain, or, well, get noticed, be accepted. Um, that's probably enough, or try again. I don't think so, I think we're done. Uh, I feel like <laughs> if we try again, he's not gonna hear it, that's probably enough. I figured that it was enough embarrassing myself for today. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, I, um, I'm sorry. I swear I'll never do it again. Shannon's trembling stopped and some warm smirk plastered on his face. Thanks. That was all he said before departing for his next class. Later that day at lunch, Shane had laminated how awful the school fish and trips were. As I listened, I had tucked the idea away with glee. I would make them for him. I'd never fried anything before in my life, but it couldn't be that hard. Luckily, the dorm kitchens were stocked pretty nicely. There, there was a thick fillet of cod in the back of the fridge, and I pulled it out and cut it up. I remember from frying, frying chicken with my dad that batter was flour and water mainly. As I soaked the fish strip and eggs, I fish strips and eggs, I slipped out a cookbook to make sure my knowledge was correct. This had to be perfect, and I only had enough fish for one try. I followed the recipe, mixing together the spices and the flour. When the oil was properly heated, and I took it, took a slotted spoon and set to fry, set out to fry. It was difficult, and I was terrified a drop of oil was going to jump out and hit my face. But finally, they were done. I clapped my hands together, and flour exploded into the air, dusting my face and hair. But as I looked down at my fry creation, I smiled. They looked absolutely perfect. I had done everything right for once. Maybe this would make up for my pitiful attempts at cheering Shane up. This is so adorable. This is like super adorable because she's trying so hard to make him happy. I wiped my hands on my apron and hung it back up before slipping on my uniform jacket. Lunch period was nearly over since I had elected to spend it making this fish. I plated it up rather messily and chewed it with plastic wrap. If I ran, Shane would still have enough time to try it. To avoid being smited by t tumble gods, I made sure my shoes were tied and there was nothing to trip on. I made my way to the cafeteria. The dishes would have been d would have to be done later. Hey. What if there was a teacher and they were like, excuse me, who made this mess? And everyone doesn't know because Hana just ran out. Oh, here she is. I told you she didn't forget about us. I slid into the seat next to Mai and pushed the plate to Shane, trying not to make eye contact with anyone. <sighs> It's a, it's fish and chips. Well, without chips, it, it's fish. Uh -huh. well, why? You complain about the school food, right? I know you're kind of missing home, and I understand. My parents used to make this for me, and it always cheered me up. So, I unwrapped the plastic wrap from the plate and released the steam. I caught a quick smile from Shane. I was happy to get a glimpse of his elusive Shane smile. Patent pending. Oh wow! Wow, Hannah, they smell really good. The blush hiding behind my fear floated to the surface. <laughs> of course I made enough for everyone to have some. Shane's gotta eat it first though, right? Under the watch of the Nora Boots Club, Maya and myself, Shane picked up a piece of my creation. Mm. Thanks. It took a huge bite, careful at first, and chewed, his face shifting to something more keen to surprise. Well, this is actually really good. He stopped selling, then dropped the fish and began searching desperately for something. When it was not found, he got up and ran out of the cafeteria, coughing on the way. But the fish had to be have fish had to have been perfect. I followed the recipe so closely. No one else said a word. I ripped off a small piece of fish and chewed it slowly. Immediately I knew what was wrong. Mouth ablaze, I fished around my backpack for a water bottle and down the whole thing for seconds. <laughs> it's a little spicy. 
My voice was but a croak. I was too busy trying to hide the unco uncontrollably, un uncontrollable tears brimming my eyes. My and Sash took a crumb and ate it. <laughs> a moment later, they were fe really feeling it. <laughs> Dang, I can handle my spicy food but <laughs> better than your average person, but this is something else. He shook his head violently and Mai's face puckered. Uh... This could be a magical girl component, Hana. Wow. Just how, <laughs> how much Kai... Cayenne? Cayenne? Did you add? Well. Two cups! They all looked as if I had killed someone right in front of them. Ah. Two cups! I thought it was a lot too, but that's what the recipe said. That can't be right. Two teaspoons, maybe. I don't... I don't know. I thought everything was right, but obviously it's not. I looked down in defeat, and here I thought that everything was perfect. Now that Jared mentioned it, they did look a little red to be fried fish. Do you think Shane's okay? He ate a lot. Huh. A little spice never killed anyone, Hana. He's fine. I'd imagine he's just getting some water from the bathroom. <laughs> Gerard's right. Plus, even if it didn't turn out as expected, he should be thankful you took the time to cook for him. Why don't you ever cook me things, huh? My pushed me playfully. Uh -huh. You did a nice thing. If he doesn't appreciate it, then you shouldn't appreciate him. Thanks, guys. Want me to go talk to him? I shook my head. It's fine. Class is about to start anyways. He'll probably be there and I can apologize profusely. <laughs> I don't assume anyone else, anyone wants these. I lifted up the plates and offered it around. Yay! Ooh, me! I wasn't expecting a serious answer and was already getting up to throw them away. What? Why would you possibly want these? <laughs> you know, variety is like a pinch of c cumin in the summering pot of cumin. Sorry, not cumin. What the hell? Cumin in the simmering pot of life, I think, right? I wasn't buying it. <sighs> My culinary failures can only be used for good, not evil. I dumped the fish into the trash. What the hell? The thumb of them hitting on the bottom of the bin went nicely with Mai's anguished wails. But you know my recipe now. Hmm. I'm not condoning food terrorism, but I can't exactly stop you. Mai sprang up and hugged Yeah! Me. I needed to see things my way. Soon everyone else began cleaning up and putting away their trays. Shane still hadn't come back. I guess I wouldn't see him until later. Cheer up, Hana. He's fin- Gerard paused and squinted at something across the cafeteria. Exactly! Yeah, see? Isn't that him over there? It was hard to see Shane in, the angry fig in this angry figure coming straight towards me. Really? You couldn't win my acceptance, so you tried to kill me? No! No, it, it wasn't like that. I- hmm. No matter what you try and do, I'm not changing my mind. Still fuming, he walked over to John and put an arm on his shoulder, the other one clutching his stomach. Tell me Shizuka I won't be able to make it. He looked over his shoulder at me. Hmm. Someone made me nauseous. What? Whoa, missing class? You okay, dude? Besides the fact that I want to ex <laughs> expunge my charred organs from my body, yes. He walked off. What was Shane talking about? You guys have some beef? What? What? N no, I think he's just delirious. I looked down at the ground, suddenly very interested in my shoelaces. <laughs> my food was terrible after all. Hey, don't get so down. We'll try again together next time, okay? She clapped me on the back. By now, I was more u more than used to the my helm hemlich. <sighs> Thanks. Let's go to class. Maybe it'll forget. It'll help me forget. Shan was gone for two days. John had to bring him his homework, and he didn't even come back. Come to meals. He was so sick. I was consumed with guilt every second. It was my fault. Everything. What else could it be? I slouched into my seat absentmindedly, doodling a sad stick man onto my homework. Then my hit me. <laughs> Ow! What was that for? She was looking at something. Shane was walking through the door, avoiding eye contact with everyone. He probably slid into his desk and started quiet, talking quietly with PBG. Mm-hmm. I told you he didn't die. My toad did this thing where she tried to whisper, but ended up not doing it at all. It just sounded like an especially breathy statement. PBG looked over at us. My eyes never went to my desk faster. <laughs> well, I know I didn't kill him. My retort was a little rougher than I meant, and my smile faded. Sorry, I've been stressed. I wonder why he had, he was gone so long. It was just Pepper. <laughs> Does he shrivel up shrivel up when he touches Pepper like a slug? My stuck out her tongue and curled her arms in front of her like a blend between t a T-Rex and a 2,000-year-old mummy. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. With, <laughs> with slugs, it's salt, not Pepper. Okay, fine. He was like a snail, not a slug. Slug. Happy? 
She curled up again. I didn't even try to correct her this time. I had to apologize to Shane as soon as possible. Today was the only day and then would possibly be the only day where I would ever want to work in a group just so I could run over there and get it over with. But the class ended up being a silent lecture as boring as ever. Well, that sucks. Hana, Hana Mizuno? M Mizuno? Sorry. I snapped out of my stupor. St stupor? Stup stupor? The class went completely silent. Uh. Yes? Hmm. You're needed in the front office. I froze. No one ever got called into the office in the middle of class. Have my spicy criminal ways finally been revealed? I don't understand why they couldn't just wait after class, but you're free to go. <sighs> she sighed heavily and shrugged. Is anyone ev even running the school anymore? Hana, gather your things. There are five minutes left of class, so just go, go to lunch after you finish your little trip down the hall. I quickly packed up. As I passed her desk, Miss Shizuka licked her thumb and picked a sheet of paper off her desk. Homework. See you tomorrow. The second I took the paper from her, she continued her lecture from where she left off. Where am I going? I went to the office, ready to admit my wrongdoing to the headmaster or whoever would, there, would be there to scold me. I gave the slip of paper to the girl who was, for some reason, working the desk. Hi, Hana. You left your ID card in the library. We need to confirm it was you picking it up. I don't want it to get into the wrong hands. She stopped her sentence on an odd pitch, as if they already were in the wrong hands. I like to say a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders, but shame related guilt still hung over my head. Kusu held up my ID and examined it, then looked to my face. Scanning. Kusu emitted an odd beeping noise. Here you are. She handed me my card and signed her name off of the paper. As she did so, as she did so, she squinted at me. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, you look familiar to me. Um, I do? Scanning databases. Her eyes shined. I took an uncomfortable step back, wondering whether to run away. A sudden look of realization crossed her face. You're friends with Shane, are you not? Yes, I am. Why? Kusu shook her head. If you are friends with Shane, then the information should remain classified. What? What? Why? Classified. Uh. I huffed angrily, but Kusu Kakusu, I'm guessing her name, didn't seem to notice. I just don't feel like it's correct how I'm saying it. <laughs> You're good to go. Take care of your card and enjoy lunch. I said thanks and held my ID card between my fingers. A lot of worrying for all, f all for this. Oh well, it was time to get to lunch. I was completely unable to find Shane during lunch. Apparently, despite being in class, his stomach still wasn't completely settled. The smell in the air made him feel nauseous, which meant I didn't have a chance to talk to him. After class ended, I tried to get to him, but the hustle and bustle of students blocked away. Shane put on his bag and left the room before I'd even gotten halfway across. Those were the perks of sitting next to the door. I wasn't able to sock him to his dormitory, so instead, Maya and I headed to the library to study as planned. Boring. <sighs> as I walked, I held up my idea, ID and smiled just like in my picture. Hmm. Look what I lost. Really? That was it? No, oh, how disappointing. Don't get mad at me, but I thought it would be funny if I saw you in handcuffs being pushed into a police car. I had my phone ready to take an angsty picture of you and everything. Mm -hmm. It would have been badass. Yep. I, I looked off into the distance daydreaming. I was fine with being target, the target of her villainous fantasies. As long as she didn't try to actually make me do anything. <gasps> oh yeah! She snapped back into reality and grabbed my arms excitedly. Yeah! They were talking about you. What? Who? What? No my boots, right before lunch. As soon as class was over, John started talking to Shane. Pretty loudly, I might add, about how you liked him. <gasps> they, no, I mean, what did they say? What did Shane say? Come on, Hana, everyone knows it. You've been doing so many things for him. They were saying the exact same thing. Shane just kept denying it. He didn't say anything else but no. Oh, there he is, standing right in front of the library. <gasps> what? What am I supposed to say? Why is he there? Mine? She had vanished. I would have received no help. She gave me a small wave as I approached. Oh, now he wants to talk to us? He was waiting for me, right? Hey. Uh, hi. I stopped in front of him. Uh, Before you say anything, I just want to say I'm so, 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 so sorry for making that fish for you. I really didn't think it would be that spicy. I've been worrying about it nonstop since. I thought I made you really sick. <sighs> I suggested I visit you in your dorm, but that didn't go so well last time, and I thought it would make you angrier than you already were, so... Hmm. 
Well, okay. First, your fish did not make me sick. Jared gave me his co Jared gave me his code. I didn't want to give it to anyone else. Second, it was pepper. It's not gonna kill me. I'm not a snail or whatever Maze Mai's been saying. And just like that, all my problems were solved. Really? You're really fine. No internal bleeding or anything. Yeah. I'm fine. Stop worrying. It added a little spice to life. He smiled. A real smile. But that's not what I want to talk about. I'm in art. I'm in an art class, and we need to have a full portrait done by next week. I was wondering if you'd be my model again. His hands were in his pockets. He wasn't looking at me. Nothing I wasn't used to. I almost instantly agreed, just because it was shame. But my discomfort outweighed my the uh. impulse. Well, I don't know. I wasn't the most confident of my looks. My modeling for practice was one thing, but an actual portrait to be seen by the whole art class made me wary. It'll only be a few hours. Anytime you're free. Well... I guess I do kind of owe you for what I did. Right? Yeah, you tried to kill me. So, you'll do it? I was about to say yes, but then I actually started thinking about no. it. No! No! I don't owe you anything. Well... Well, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, You've been mean to me since I got here. I tried to do nice things, but it didn't have any effect, did it? You're so mean to me, so why should I do more for you? Hana, it was a joke. <laughs> no, I tried to kill you. Why don't you ask some other girl to do it then? She was quiet for a few moments, then mumbled an excuse I wasn't in the mood to hear. It's just that it's a school assignment in your hair. Hmm. What about it? It's weird? Suspicious? <laughs> Never mind. Now it's never mind. <laughs> Whatever. I gave him no chance to respond. Damn. You guys are... Uh, this couple's gonna make me cry. Heading into the library where Mai was eagerly waiting. Hey, what's up? Is everything alright? You're looking kind of... Tomato-y. <sighs> yes, everything's fine. Let's just study. I didn't have any contact with Shane until the next day at lunch. They were serving bacon stuffed turkey wraps. It wasn't the kind of thing I'd usually go for, but beggars can't be choosers. I'm hungry. Anything is making me hungry right now. I grabbed a tray and went to the back of the line, and seconds Shane lined up behind me. He didn't say anything or looked at me. Instead, a thick tension throttled the air between us. It was a little much for me to get angry at him after he gave he forgave me for setting his mouth on fire. Maybe I was too quick to anger. Maybe that was unreasonable. I wanted to apologize, but I didn't want to bring it back up. I felt like it would only make things worse. Shane sighed behind me, and my thoughts trailed back to his offer. Modeling for him for the first time was fun. Albeit is a, albeit, albeit a bit, I don't even know, a bit terrifying. But maybe I could put the fear behind me. It was to help him with his project, after all. Maybe he would actually start trusting me. Yeah, right. As if that it was going to happen. Hey. I know you didn't give me bad food on purpose. Thank you for doing such a nice thing. Anyway, I've been wanting to ask you to model for me again ever since the flower festival. I placed my tray under the glass and a smiling cafeteria worker spooned me some steamed asparagus. Seeing my non-reaction, Shane changed tactics. <sighs> I know you're peeved at me and I'm sorry. The turkey wrap was placed on my tray and after grabbing a glass of chocolate milk, I headed for the usual table. Shane grabbed his glass and jogged to catch up with me. Of course, by divine intervention, we were the first to reach the table. Alone, I was trapped. So, will you model for my project? Well... Hannah, at least say something. I looked away. How should I respond? Sure, or it seems like you're just using me. He just seems like he's using me, though. Yeah, he's just... You're just, I just feel like he's using me just because I look different. I mean, it could be in a nice way, but it can also be interpreted in a rude way as well. <sighs> I don't know where this is going. He narrowed his eyes. Hmm. Why would you say that? You haven't liked me for all this time, but now because of my hair, you want to draw me? I chose you for a reason, but that's not... Whatever. Fine by me. Shane turned half half away from me and I picked up my food. Why would he ask to draw me if he hated me so much? Why would he specifically mention my hair if he hated it so much? The silence stretched longer between us. It was almost like... <gasps> it's almost like... Like he was trying to make up for insulting me by calling my hair beautiful. I, I didn't say I wasn't going to. Of course I'll be your model. Mm. Glad you decided on something. He 
It took a deep chug of his glass, apparently so he wouldn't have to say anything else. But he also shifted in his chair to face me. That, at least, was a good sign. Uh, so, so, should I, like, wear makeup or something? Do my hair? I've never done this before. Doesn't sound, that sound lovely. <laughs> She's never done this before. But that's where we're going to stop for today. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. This couple, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of relationship development compared to what we have with PBJ. PBJ. PBG, which I prefer Shane's storyline way more right now. It's quite, it's quite a different. But thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.